Okay, so welcome all to the to the Android development track. Um, so let's start uh, with yeah a recap about uh, what is this workshop about and um, and some some slides and things about logistics and how, uh, how we are going to to proceed with the workshop. So first of all, what is this about? Um, this workshop is about uh, the use, uh, how to use the Android SDK to build custom Android applications. Uh, so this is not, it's not a workshop focused on pure Android development. It's more about how to use the Android SDK to build custom applications. So yeah, in during the workshop, we we will assume uh, some basic stuff about Android. We are not paying attention on that. We are uh, mainly paying attention on on the use of the SDK to build applications. And um, what is the SDK? Uh, first of all, uh, well, I know uh, almost of us do have attended the previous workshop, but very quickly, is uh, the SDK is uh, an SDK and a library uh, that has the objective of facilitate the development of Android applications. And one of the main tasks that the SDK does is to communicate with the DSS2 instances, uh, the web API, and uh, to allow the to work offline in offline mode, keeping an internal database. So just to recap the the big picture to to locate uh, the SDK in the context. Uh, here we have the Vista2 API, the, the web server. Uh, the Android SDK interacts with the uh, with the API, and the application only interacts with the SDK. So in this example, this is the official capture application, um, and the, the application only interacts with the SDK. It, it does not interact with the web API. So it is the SDK uh, who is responsible for managing the complexity of dealing with the API. I don't know, small changes in the API, small changes in the endpoints, all that is managed by the SDK. So the app uh, does not have to care about that. All these, all these three products are uh, are delivered by the University of Oslo. They are available for you. The, the source code, the library itself, uh, and then if you want. So what we are going to learn here is how to build your own applications uh, in case the official capture application does not meet your requirements and you have a particular use case. Uh, here you can know how to build uh, your custom applications using the SDK. Okay, the SDK um, was released one year and a half ago. So it's quite a, it's, it's young, let's say. It's, a, it's quite a new product. Uh, in the meanwhile, we have had three, well, four versions, okay, uh, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 last year. 1.3 uh, was an important one because it was the first one where the, the release cycle of DSS2, the capture app, and the SDK were aligned. And uh, yeah, we have another patch version. And then last week, last week or two weeks ago, we had 1.4, 2.4 .4, uh, of the capture app and 2.36. They were aligned and released uh, at the same time. Okay, uh, so as, as I said, uh, this workshop is the continuation of uh, the workshop one that we hold, hold it on March uh, 2020, uh, two months ago. Um, 
So all, all the topics that we cover in the previous workshop, in the workshop one, uh, uh, are not going to be covered here. So we assume that things like uh, the installation of the SDK, the initialization, uh, basic tasks like login and sync, and metadata read, and data read and write, all that things were covered in workshop one. Um, you have the, the YouTube videos and the slides. Here you have the link in case you you want to do the this workshop again. So this workshop is about more uh, advanced features uh, about, uh, for the SDK, like validation rules, program indicators, things like that. Um, yeah, during the workshop, we are going to use Git uh, a lot. Uh, we are going to use Git to clone the repository, uh, to switch between branches, uh, create new branches, update the project. So it's, yeah, it's important to have a good command of Git uh, yeah, to do this, all, all this stuff. Um, you can use Git in the way you prefer. You can use the command line if you are familiar with the command line, or you can use Git uh, directly from Android Studio. So here in the resources, we have a link to a presentation about how to use Git in Android Studio uh, in case you need it. Uh, one more thing we are going to use in this workshop is the skeleton application. Skeleton application is, is a sample application uh, that is using the SDK and is intended to be a starting point for the development of Android application and also a, yeah, a good uh, example of, uh, for use cases uh, about the use of the SDK. I don't know, to list programs, to do searches, things like that. So yeah, this is our requirement uh, to have the skeleton up, up and running uh, before the workshop because we are going to use it a lot. What else? Uh, more about the logistics, uh, the exercises strategy. So um, in general, uh, all the sessions will have uh, an initial part that is uh, a theoretical part about 10 15 minutes uh, and then we will do an exercise about that um, well the exercises will be like this uh, the main facilitator will give an explanation about the exercise uh, we usually have the instructions in the first place then we have the exercise branch, so the branch that you are going to use uh, to do the exercise. And then the Java classes that are involved uh, in that exercise, uh, because usually you will have to implement some methods or modify some, yeah, some methods that are implemented to do another thing. So the typical flow of the exercise is that you have you will have to update your git repository in first place just in case we have done any modification. Then create a new branch starting from the exercise branch, and then you will have to to do the exercise. Uh, for that, you can use the Java classes to look for the for the classes involved or check the to do tab in Android Studio. Uh, yeah. And once you have done the exercise, uh, we recommend to create a commit so you can come later to the to the exercise if you need it. And then um, we will ask you to upload uh, the solution to a particular folder. Uh, it can be 
anything you want. Um, it depends on the exercise, and we will recommend you to, I don't know, upload a capture of the Skeleton app showing the functionality, or upload a document with a code a snippet with the solution. I don't know. It depends on the exercise. And also, if you don't manage to finish, you can you can come to the yeah the Q and A session. Today we will have a Q and A session at one p.m. Yeah, at the end of the of the workshop. And if needed, we can yeah, we can do in the in the other place. So, and this is just a reminder about the Android project. Uh, because doing the Android project is a requirement to obtain the certificate of the academy program. So, yeah, I will, yeah, I would recommend you that during the, this workshop, uh, if you have done, if you have uh, don't do that yet, uh, I would recommend you to submit your idea uh, about the about the application that you want to build uh, for the competition. Um, yeah, the registration link is here. The deadline is June 7th. So it's like in a month or less. So it's, yeah. Uh, and about the topic, you can choose your own idea, anything that you need for your organization. Or you can select one of the topics that we will propose to you. Okay. And yeah, the last slide is about the resources. So here you have uh, links to the source code of the SDK, the documentation. Yeah, I will recommend you to take a look at the documentation, uh, at least to know uh, what is included in the documentation. So in case you have any questions, maybe. It is solved in the documentation, and also in the yeah in the slides we usually include uh, fragments of the documentation. So yeah, I would recommend you to take a look at this. The skeleton app, uh, Jira, to uh, yeah to know if you want, need to know the development of uh, the SDK or to report a bug or to request any feature. The community and the link to the workshop one in case you need it. Okay. So thank you all. And uh, this was yeah, the first part about logistics. Uh, if you have any question about about this? 